record this because this is awesome. This is beautiful. This is Utah. This is Utah. These are cool shuttles. I've gone on these before. Oh, Dad, um, so I, the other day I learned in, uh, well, I, did, I already knew it, but um, I, um, I remembered there was this, oh man, there's something going up, I don't know, there's an accident or something. Yeah. Man. I think you need to get more window wiper fluid. You know what, this car was just washed last, it was washed 24 uh -huh. hours ago. Uh -huh. Maybe 26 hours ago, just yesterday. Here's the other one up here. Dad, oh. guess how many gigabytes Wait, wait, did that car hit this? Uh, yeah, the other Dad, one might have been what? towed up. Oh, yeah, it did. And then they stopped up here. Dad, guess uh, what? On this iPod, I'm weird. only using 7.8 gigabytes and I have 19.2 gigabytes available. Wow. Man, yeah. look at the scenery, though. And meanwhile, Alex is all worrying about space on his phone. Huh. Wait, what? Huh? I said I only use 7.8 gigabytes and I have 19.2 available. But Dad, so I wiped my SD card because I couldn't even remember what was on it, and if I can't remember, then it's probably not important. So how do you know for sure it's a virus? Well, no, I wiped it, so it's not there. So you don't know your no, no. Yeah, I know it was a virus because whenever I took out my SD card, my phone um, wasn't as laggy, and oh. it and it wasn't like messing up. But I went, when I wiped it, I wiped it on my phone, and um, and. When I put it in, I guess since it had been a while, it, I guess it didn't, it didn't quite recognize my phone the same that it did before. So it was just going to be in a little bit laggy and slow. Yeah. And instead of all like being weird and that you know, so. Do you think it was a virus or just? No, it was definitely a virus. It, like it was definitely something that came from the internet. Like um, like some like when I downloaded a song or something. Do you think it could have been data corruption instead of a virus? Um, I. What, what would data corruption do? Data corruption is um, clusters that no longer work. Like, for example, uh, Quicken is a software. No, no, no. I, I, I like. What do you mean by cluster? I can kind of try to tell you. If it's um, sections of data. It's like there's a software called Quicken. It's a financial management software for balancing an account. Yeah. Well, Wells Fargo. I use that. I'm actually I'm one out of two people in the entire bank that monitor that. And a lot of the calls that we have coming in are people that can't connect and download their transactions. The problem they have is that their files, their accounts, are like eight, ten years old. They can, they've never created a new file. When the software, even sophisticated software like that, you have it for years. Actually, just doesn't work. It either won't download, the math doesn't work on it, it won't add right. It's just um, files after so long, it's like a copy off a copy off a copy. Remember uh, that? Yeah. You're talking about? It's eventually something can happen. Well, if you have data corruption, you were seeing yourself after uh, a few years, your phone, you know, is working well. If you had uh, a memory card, well, I got the number card after I got the phone. Well, something simple that's not complex, you have it, and you've put data on it, you've deleted, you've added your data, you've added, you've subtracted, it's like your Windows registry, you know about those, like it can collect all kinds of crap in your, and it takes your computer a while to boot up, because it's looking at all these old, old programs that have been uninstalled and everything, you know what I mean? It's just a memory that's just, it's crap, that's in there, it's no longer used, that the file hasn't been completely deleted, and then it affects another one, because your um, your memory refers to a location. And it's so like a location that doesn't really have anything the, there anymore? The something is there, but you deleted part of it a long time ago. Yeah, and there's a car, so I'm going to move this down. You know, so it's just different clusters of data. You know what defrag does, right? Um, never heard of that. Defrag on a 
hard drive or any storage device gets um, all of your copies. Like, say you've got your whole hard drive's letters of the alphabet. Well, the program may be an A, the same program may be a D. It refers to different parts. So that's how your hard drive is, it's not all together. And so that can slow down your hard drive because if you have a program. Dad, it's 455. Okay, thanks. Is he gonna beat us in? He's got five. We already called. We already called. Okay. Yeah, thanks though. And the A may refer to Z, that may refer all the way up to G to J. The same program is just in the next section of data is somewhere else. Defrag is a program that it copies, maybe if it starts at A, it'll copy wherever the rest of it is, like Z. It'll copy Z to B and delete Z. Does that make sense? And if your next third section of data is over at, say, the letter Wait, so it's R, just like a uh, mess up between programs? No, it gets everything close together. So instead, say your program starts at A, the wait, wait, clusters wait, wait, wait. of data. Are we, talk, are we talking about the, like, the... Uh, the talking about your card. Like the, the, or, okay. any, or any storage device, say, um... Wait, so are we talking... I mean, like, are we talking about, like, um, what, what would have, like, messed up my phone like that? Yeah, or, I'm, uh, yeah, I'll tell you. I'm giving you this to know something else. Okay. Say you've, say you've got a program that has three clusters of data. It refers to three yeah. different parts. Starts at the end. A to Z is your, all your memory clusters in your whole storage device, okay? The program may start at A, and at the end of the cluster, it'll say refer to Z the letter Z, like zebra. Yeah, move that down. And then that may say refer to R. It's jumping all over your storage device. Doesn't matter where it's on your storage device, it's just going through. Well, wait, 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 wait. wait. I'll repeat that because I. Okay. There's, say, your program, no matter how much cluster, how much data or kilobytes or megabytes or whatever is in a cluster, say it's in three clusters. At the end of the first part of your program, yeah. it says go to cluster Z, like zebra. And then the end of that second one, it says go to R. All right? Yeah. So your program is really at A, Z, R. Now that's okay, so, on user so, end. So that's, wait, so A, Z, R, so that's like the order that I would go to, right? That's in the back end. You don't know that. You get on the Windows, you get on the phone with memory, you don't know all that. No, no, that's like the order of the files that it goes through, right? Yeah, the order or the section of data. Yeah. It could be three files, or each cluster could have. So kind of like like percent app data percent, like kind of like that. Like, What's that? Like so the files would be like for Minecraft um, and a lot of other games like stuff on Steam and stuff. Um, I um, I I found that a lot of the game files go um, like at some point it, it um, has a file um, called percent app data percent or or app data. No, or something like that. Like, That's user end. You're on. You're the user looking at it. What I'm telling you is on the back end that people don't see unless they're diving into code, trying to see where everything is on the hard drive. The user end, you don't know. If you have a list of contacts, you don't know where in that storage device those contacts or those pictures are stored. By looking at it, you don't know. All you know is there are pictures on your phone and there's contacts of all the phone numbers. But really, on a storage device, it's going into certain sections, and it's referring one section to the next section to the next section. So what I'm saying is, that say your three say a program has three clusters. Now maybe there's one cluster has two kilobytes, and the other one has a hundred meg. It doesn't matter. It's it's depends on the cluster. So so it goes from A to Z to R. Okay, you with me? Right, so, so those are the three clusters. That, your whole program is three clusters. A, Z, R. Defrag is a program, and it's on all operating systems, or all Windows operating systems. Defrag starts with A, and it says, okay, I'm not changing that right off the bat. But then it says, oh, the next cluster is Z. Well, that's on the other side of the storage device. It's kind of actually slowing your operating system down going and looking for it. So this is what it does. Alex. So wait, so does defrag fix it? I'm no. telling you what it does. So what defrag does is it looks at Z and it copies the cluster and puts it at B. Okay? Next to A. And then it deletes Z. And then it goes, okay, the next cluster was it where was it? Yeah. Do you remember? Um R. Yeah. So what it will do is copy the data on R and put it to the letter what? 
um, C. C. So they're all together. And then it'll delete what's on R. So basically, you're going to have all your programs and clusters that are together, and you're going to save your storage device from your, your actually, any, anything that slows speed down doesn't have to process as fast as going to speed up your phone, you right? So it will be there. Or your computer or anything. I don't know. Look at the mile marker. Remember I told you? Well, my marker is it? I'm guessing we're probably 150 miles. Well, but what mile marker is it? Um, nice blinker, buddy. See, Layton's 330, Salt Lake, it might be around 290 or somewhere in there. You'll see a sign for Salt Lake before gonna be There's going to be a, such uh, cool time lapse if I make it a time lapse, because it's going to show how I, everything went from like... Are you doing like, time lapse right now? Maybe. I'm just doing a video. Um, I'm going to see how everything go, um, goes from like, like barely any snow all the way to this, or maybe even farther than this. Okay, so Alex, yeah. so does that make sense what defrag does? Okay, so, so defrag is simplifying it, I guess. So it's putting it together, the clusters together. So when you run yeah. an operating system, whether it's on your phone or computer or laptop, it'll go, okay, go to the end of the cluster in the memory, like A or Z, and it'll go, okay, now where does the next one? It refers to it somewhere else. Yeah. Like you're reading a book, and at the bottom it says refer to blah, 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 and you go to a different area. Yeah, so, so like, like kind of the if, then, and go to, kind of? It's just reference, yeah. It's just like a mo module or like something that'll, like in Minecraft, it'll say to go to a different module or something. Yeah. Uh, it's well, just... Like, like the mods folder, like how there's a separate folder for mods and stuff. Yeah, but say the mods is on another hard drive, it might take a little yeah, while. Yeah, it, it won't quite find it, or like, or it will crash. Yeah. It'll, it'll delay and everything, but if they're all together on the same server or all in the same section, oh, well, it's not have to spend all that time looking for it. So if so if every single um, if every single thing was on the same file, you mean like like everything was in the same file, um, there were no like subfolders or anything, then no. would it or or do you mean just if everything was was right where it said to look for like the fr the very first time? Well, remember, we're not talking files per se, because one file could be in five different clusters. All it is is any data, whether it's a file, whether it's a name, in your contact, any character. In fact, we'll narrow it down, a byte, okay? One byte, one section of space for a letter, anything. That data, now usually it's a little bit bigger than that, but they're in clusters. It can be anywhere. A cluster can be... 100 kilobytes, could be 150 kilobytes, each cluster could be different. They may have nothing to do with each other. Does that make sense? So one file could actually, on a, on a computer, remember you're just user in, you're looking at it your eyes, you don't know what's going on in the background. You see one file, but that file could be in three different sections on your hard drive. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what it's doing is it's bringing it all together. So when you go to, it goes a reference, it doesn't have to reference somewhere in China. It just goes to the next line. Does that make sense? Yeah, so. It goes, and that's what defrag that is made to not only speed up your computer. So by, it just goes to But to play. all the wear and tear of your hard drive. Now here's the problem. Defrag doesn't hurt you, but what it does is it does, it helps. But one thing it does do is, remember, you're copying and deleting a whole lot of information. And a lot of times, it um, there's files that are still there. When you but, but, but since it wasn't since it wasn't looking for that file, it deleted that. Let me rephrase it. When you delete any file, you don't really delete it. You know what it does? Right. Changes the priority. So, like, say priority one. Hey, this is important. I'm using this file. Priority two is dominant, is dormant, completely yeah. dormant. That means it's not needed. It's not going to show up in your directory. It's just not important. And then later on, you're you're typing, you're doing something, and you save data. It can go right over that priority two because it's not important. The data is still there, but it's just not important. But a lot of times, if you haven't rewritten over it, you can you can retrieve that data because you just turn it priority one again. Okay, so, so, when, so are you saying whenever you delete a file, you know, like, like for, actually click on delete, then, um, then like it's still there? Until it's written over again. Yeah. 
Well, so like, so, so say you um, delete a file, or oh wait, no wait, 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 would that be like kind of how how you can do the save as? Like Have feature, you ever like, noticed that if you hit the button delete, it deletes faster than it cop some copies? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's why it didn't really delete it. It just changed the priority that was not important. And so it like, kind of just making it invisible. Yeah, it's just not. Yeah, you don't see it on your user end. You're looking at it and you're going, "Oh, delete it. Oh, it's not crap. there." No wonder my computer is so slow because I've got a bunch of stuff that's invisible. I've pressed delete so many times. No, but if you have it deleted, it doesn't use it anymore. Wait, so does that mean it's just gone? It's there. Okay. It's um. Let's see. How do I say it? Uh. You got ten popsicle sticks, okay, laying down, okay? Yeah. Ten popsicle sticks. They're all um, data. But then all of a sudden, you go, I don't want three of these. So you get a little paintbrush and you go on three of them. And you make them all black, okay? Are you with me so far? Yeah. Okay, you don't see them anymore, really. I mean, you pretend like you're not important. So, say, okay, hey, look, I need to, I have some more information. I got more popsicle sticks, but you only have ten spaces. Well, three of them are black, so you just lay the new ones right over to the others, right? Yeah. Because it doesn't matter. But then you go, oh, I got to retrieve some data. So you get a program that's important. And then you turn the popsicle sticks over where they're not black, and ta-da, it's back. The data is still there. You just said it's not important anymore. You can't get it back very easy. You can't get it back very easy if you have copied another program. You know, priority one so, says use this. Priority right, so two like, says until you save the next thing, like no, like the next program, no ma matter if it's. Not like no matter what it is, it, it like fully gets rid of the original. Yeah, no, nothing's deleted. Nothing. Once data, let's see. Here's a once data is there, it's it's, <laughs> it's not deleted until something is put over it. So like, so say I delete something like an applicant or I uninstall an application on my phone, <laughs> and um, it's it's still there, and unless well until like the part the point where I um. I get a new one till anything goes over the space. Well, so like, so like, say I have like no space or except for enough for one application, I and I delete one. Uh, then, um, well, usually I delete two, but w um, then when I get a new application, then um, and I have no more space left, then it's written over. Kind of. Your your phone doesn't say you can have. X amount of applications. It says X amount of Data. memory. Yeah. yeah. An application and, well, could be small, it could be large. Like, som sometimes it's like two applications. Like, like I have to delete two applications to get one, even though yeah. for one of them I had to, like, like two, I, I delete, like, okay, well, th this actually wouldn't, like, this would probably be worth more data than, um, than I'm gonna use it as an example for, but um, like say I delete like Facebook and Twitter, and I get like one sound effect up, like instant buttons or something. Like so, like like usually, or well, sometimes it's like two big apps for one little tiny simple app. Yeah, it's space is all it is. Now here's something. Say you have uh, five apps on it, okay, yeah. on your phone. You still got you still got decent memory, but you've got five apps, and you delete three of them. Okay, but then your address book. Yeah. Say you just all of a sudden met 500 people, and you put their phone oh. numbers in there. Chances are, some of that memory, not apps, but so, some so, of that memory so the memory will go over where that app was. Maybe, okay, maybe so not. 
You don't have any control. It's just how the operating system works. So, so the um, so the memory is used for everything. Like, like when it says I have um, so much um, like memory left, uh -huh. um, that's not just memory for apps. That's memory for apps, pictures, everything. Yes. Oh, Unless, okay. So that's why it always says I I um, like gallery is my biggest app. Unless for some reason your phone or computer has allocated, set, partitioned something specifically to only be used for that, which isn't likely. It isn't likely. Oh, because I, I they wouldn't do that do... because then they're limited. You, you can run out of space in some, somewhere else and they don't want your phone to say that. They'll just say you have so much memory. X amount. But see, remember, you delete that app and that memory, where that app is, that app is still there. So, so, so I like, still have the files. You just have it say priority two. Well, priority two doesn't matter. It's like, eh, I don't care. Priority one is what you use. Well, now that it, you press delete and it went into priority two, well, anything over priority one can delete it and go right over it. It doesn't care. It will drive right over it because you told it priority two. The only way how you recover data is you look for something in it and make it priority one again. Okay. Well, part of it may not be there. All of it may not be there. You may only have one kilobyte left. It's just that's how they recover data is they look for data. That's how come it's so fast to delete something rather than copy it because it just changes how important it is. Uh, I, have, I have a question. Huh? Um, so, what's the order of like least to most for like bytes and stuff like that? Least to most? What do you yeah. Mean? So, like, what's, what's the... Um, What's the smallest? Um, what has a so wait so byte is the smallest, right? A byte, uh huh. Okay, so what? So what's like one step above that, and then and two bytes? Steps. No, 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 I mean like like what system? Like there's byte, kilobyte, megabyte, all that stuff. Oh, actually, um, they go in increments of uh, sixteen. Like so bytes, kind of like sixteen bit stuff. Yeah, the bit that's a little right. bit different. Uh -huh. That's on how much you can process at a certain point. But if we're talking data on RAM, or we're talking data on a hard drive where you save your files, or save your programs or data, if we're talking like that, <coughs> the way it works is memory starts at 16 bytes, 16, 32, 64, 128, and it will keep on going 128K, was actually the standard at one point for a lot of things. Um, hey, things like what? It goes, well, old computers, everything, 128K, 128K, yeah, we're talking a long time ago. The, there were certain ones, 640K was the most you could put on a motherboard at one time. This is before Windows. We had a computer, 640K. Anyways, it goes up, and one meg was actually um, one... 1,024 uh, kilobytes. See, 1,000 kilobytes is a meg. Just look, look at the zeros. Like it goes, 1,000 kilobytes is a meg. So 1,000 megabytes is a gigabyte. 1,000 gigabytes is a terabyte. That's what the size of my hard drive is. My laptop has 500 gig hard drive. That's a half of a terabyte. Wait, huh? Okay, so, like, in, in, like number-wise, how big would a terabyte be compared to, like, one byte? Compared to, to a, byte. a byte? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to count the zeros so I don't know exactly. It's okay, so. One, zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero. Is that, is that a billion? Oh, wait, wait. Wait, so zero, three zeros one, two, would be three. a kilobyte. Uh, six zeros would be a megabyte. Plus a million is a megabyte. A million bytes is a megabyte. Is that right? Uh, kilobyte. Kilo means a, a hundred, right? No, no, it means a thousand. One kilobyte. Kilo is a thousand. Kilograms is a thousand grams, right? Kilograms. So kilo is a thousand so that would be a thousand bytes and then it would be another thousand would be 
a million bytes. A million bytes is a meg. Um, a billion, another three zeros, would be a gigabyte. And a trillion bytes would be a terabyte. A trillion bytes. A trillion bytes is I'm not so sure, but a truck is coming up, so I'm just going to put this down anyways. <laughs> You're recording yeah. all of this talking? Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay. No, it's still Do you have okay. volume on? Um, yeah, it should. Um, you're gonna hear me going... Well, I, 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 might, I might not, um, but this is a time lapse. I might, I might just, um, do this as, like, um, Alex's dad talks about <laughs> computers and stuff. Well, does that make sense a little bit? Yeah. But, uh... Wait, so how how big is like a picture? Like uh, on a phone, like how many like what it, how many bytes are there? Um, depends on a lot. It depends on the resolution, the file format. Um, like, is there a way I could figure that out? A yeah. JPEG. You know what JPEGs yeah. are? Um, uh, those are typically for the resolution. You know what I mean when I say resolution? Yeah. Like like how the, big. The resolution and the size, those that format has always been very useful. That's why there are web pages. Because yeah. pictures on web pages, you don't want to have them large. You want them to download fast. You know. So the J JPEG has always been very good for websites. But when you're printing it out, you might want something a little higher quality. Maybe BMP. What about like ping? What about ping and G? Ping, yeah, ping is good. Ping was originally um, a lot of computers up until maybe about six years ago. A lot of computers didn't recognize it. You had to have um, Photoshop installed because it's like a photo. I think it's Photoshop. It's PNG. I think that's also um, what's it called? Paint. Yeah. Um, now it now it is. It wasn't originally. Um, it's kind of like Doc. It's a, it's a um, Microsoft Word, right? Yeah, Doc is Microsoft Word. Yeah. So, and G was graphics for like Photoshop. It wasn't like JPEG or anything. And for a long time, GIF or GIF, G I F, yeah. that yeah. wasn't even available in Paint for a long time because wait, it wait, was. Wait, wait, is it available? Huh? Oh. What? I didn't know. I didn't, I never tried. Uh, I believe it is. So, so I wait, whenever, okay. like, I, I remember transfer. I tried to transfer a, um, um, a few uh, gifts to my computer, and, like from my phone. And like, they were fine on my phone, but on, on the computer, it actually, it actually had to take me to a uh, site. I don't, I don't yeah. think the site actually existed. But How long ago? Was well, it? It, like, it was with my new computer, which it was Windows 8. So. Maybe they're not. I would think the drivers were extensions. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe just because it's from my phone. But well, they weren't our own. Maybe, maybe it's just the way that it's set up. Just like I, um, like I, I would go um, in my, um, not my gallery, but like in my like um, photo files or whatever. Yeah. Um, and I would, um, I would click, or I would double click on it, and it would go. Um, uh, it would go on the internet and go to. Um, like, like, it, like it was set up. Looking for an like, extension like when you type, else. When you type out a web page in Notepad, and yes, you can do that. Um, so literally anyone with a computer can do that because Notepad's on all the computers. Um, you, um, like, um, when, you, when you type out a web page and you do it correctly, um, I can't remember how, but you can, send, you, can, um, you can view it as a web page, um, like on yeah. the computer, and like you can go on the internet. It did, like, um, no one else can go to it because, unless you like send it to them and they do, and they um, they like, put in Notepad and, and do the same thing. But um, it's not it's not an actual website. But you but it's it displays just like one. And you can like depending on how you do it, like you can do it you can, like any way you want. Um, well, if you're talking about how GIF may or may not work, it's GIF was kind of designed and you have to look this up maybe on Wikipedia or somewhere, you know, the history of it. But GIF was, um, it's like, say you're a programmer and you have a little business, Alex, and you go, oh, 
oh, look at these pictures. I can scan this, use it as a scanner, and save it to a GIF file. Oh, and by the way, my GIF has high resolution, takes a little bit more space, but I also have the format made that I can have motion. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, so, like, that's kind of GIF. Yeah, that's know. what GIF does. It's kind of like you're like, oh, this is a very, very nice. Well, Microsoft can't go and just say, hey, now our browser supports, our, the browser obviously supports it because you go to websites, but they can't, it's not theirs, it's something you made. It's nice if their browser understands it. Well, they can't do that. Now, I understood, I thought, that they've caught up to it, and that they can do it. Well, well see, like, like, it, 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 it does move, but, um, but it took me to the website. Okay. Just just well, and maybe, maybe the point is the Windows can't do it, but your phone can do it because your phone has other things that are compatible that work like it. Or maybe they have a contract. Maybe Android um, or Windows has a contract. They've said, yeah, you may use this. Or they've paid and maybe they've bought it. That programmer that's done that file. Or something else is likely is, remember, patents run out. Maybe it was a patent and after eight years, everybody can use it. That would make more sense because in the digital age, they don't want people to have things to hold on to. That's like Apple. <laughs> they hold on to everything, you know, and it's hard to, for anybody to imitate them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Any app you do has to go through the iTunes store, you know, and then they get, they get a 30% flat cut. You know that, right? Yeah, if you might join You develop an, an app. So you put it on there, and they do your marketing, which is great. You develop it, you put it on there, but they get a flat 30% right there. Anybody who buys anything, zap, you get 70% of it. Speaking of um, zap, um, I'll just call it zap, electricity, electricity, mobile phone, uh -huh. mobile phone, this phone. My arm is tired. My arm is tired of holding this this oh. one. Um, I've been sure. Yeah. I'm. I think I'm gonna end this video. Um, so yeah. Um, any of you guys that stuck around to the end, thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that anyone um, would. Um, yeah. So they just probably hit the scroll bar at the very end. Yeah. Probably. But if you did, on. then yeah. Thanks. Sorry about that. You have to listen um, to Alex's dad talk. Yeah. And I know how many of you guys would do that because I can look at the st statistics on YouTube. I can watch you on certain videos, so... Ha ha. Uh, I can watch on YouTube? Yeah, I might. Maybe. Um, so, if you guys like this video, um, and would like to see more like it, then... Um, subscribe, comment, like, like, whatever you want. Um, yeah, where are we? Yeah, so... I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.